गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास दिस इज क्लास नाइन सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेक्चर नंबर फाइव चैप्टर फाइव द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ नाउ इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द सेल ऑर्गेनिज लाइक एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम गोल्जी अपारेटस एंड लाइजोजोन्स नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी कवरिंग अ माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया प्लास्टिक्स एंड वेक्यूल्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज लेक्चर द फर्स्ट सेल ऑर्गेनिज इज कॉल्ड एज माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया now what are mitochondria and what are its functions mitochondria these are small rod like or spherical organelles which are found distributed inside the cytoplasm so they are rod like rod like means elongated the spherical organelles spherical means spherical means circular shape so these are the organelles which are found distributed inside the cytoplasm now the mitochondria they have two membranes so they are double covering membrane the first membrane that is outer membrane and the second membrane is inner membrane the outer membrane it is smooth it is porous whereas the inner membrane it is deeply folded into finger like projections called as cristae so those deeply folded projections they are known as cristae these mitochondria they have their own dna they have their own ribosomes so that's why mitochondria are also known as semi autonomous organelles because they have their own dna and ribosomes you can see also the structure of the mitochondria here inner membrane that is extended into finger like projections called as cristae there is an outer membrane that is brown color shown here that is smooth and that is porous also and the matrix matrix means the fluid which is present inside the mitochondria mitochondria these are the site of cellular respiration yes this is a very important point it is a place or it is a region where the cellular respiration occurs now when the food is oxidized energy is released in the form of atp what is atp atp the full form of atp is adenosine tri phosphate molecules so the energy is released from atp and this energy it is used for making new chemical compounds so that's why mitochondria is known as power house of the cell i repeat why mitochondria is known as power house of the cell because mitochondria are the site of cellular respiration where the food is oxidized and energy is released in the form of atp and this energy it is used for making new chemical compounds and atp it is also known as energy currency of the cell next organelle is plastids plastids are the cell organelles which are found distributed inside the cytoplasm of the cell and basically they are found in the plant cell only they are do not found in the animal cell they have their own dna and ribosomes we were discussing about mitochondria they are also having their own dna and ribosomes so similarly plastids are also having their own dna and ribosomes and that is the only reason plastids are known as semi autonomous organelles now on the basis of color plastids are divided into three categories chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast now we will study each type of plastid in detail chloroplast chloroplast chloro means green so they are green colored plastids now why they are green because they contain a pigment chlorophyll and why the pigment is present chlorophyll which helps in the synthesis of which helps in the process of photosynthesis so are you clear about the chloroplast i repeat chloroplast are green color plastids and they help in the photosynthesis process Now the next plastid is chromoplast. Chromo means colorful, so these are the colorful plastids. But there is one more thing: they do not contain green color. They are colorful except green, and they are also found in the flowers and fruits. You might have seen the flowers and fruits are colorful. Why? Because they are due to the presence of chromoplast. So what is the function of chromoplast? They help in pollination so they attract the insects and they help in pollination the last type of plastid is leucoplast what are leucoplast 
these are the colorless class sets means they do not have any color these are colorless class sets and what is its function its function includes storage of starch oil lipids or fats so it helps in the storage of starch oils lipids and fats so this was all about the types of class sets and their functions now the next cell organelle is vacuoles what are vacuoles and what are its functions vacuoles these are the storage sacs for liquid or solid contents what does it mean these are the sac like structures which store either liquid content or solid content second they are bound by a membrane and that membrane that is called as tonoplast vacuoles the cell organelles they are bound by a membrane they have a membrane covering and that membrane covering the name is given tonoplast now there is also a fluid which is present inside the vacuole that fluid is called as cell sap sap means liquid so the fluid present inside the vacuole is called as cell sap it may contain sugar amino acids proteins and minerals in animal cells vacuoles are small size and in case of plant cells vacuoles are large size this is a very important point in case of animals the size of the vacuole is very very small but in case of plants the size of the vacuole is very very large now what is the function of vacuole it helps in the storage of water food and other substances since they are storage acting as storage sacs so they help in the storage of water food and other substances they provide turgidity to the cell they provide rigidity to the cell they help in the elimination of excess water and some waste from the cell they help in maintaining the internal pressure of the cell so these are the functions of vacuole so what is for your homework for today's lecture you will do question number 1 which is given on page number 65 and question number 5 given on page number 67 of the same chapter chapter number 5 ncert and along with doing these questions you will learn today's topic covered in this lecture now for the students who are not having the books right now i am giving you the questions you can write down can you name the two organelles we have studied that contain their own genetic material question number 2 which organelle is known as powerhouse of the cell and why so these are the questions for your homework now i would be discussing the homework solutions of lecture 4 means the solutions of the questions which were given in the previous lecture the first question was if the organization of a cell is destroyed due to some physical or chemical influence what will happen answer cell organelles are responsible for the organization and proper functioning of a cell as each of them perform some specific functions naturally if any of these organelle are destroyed the functions of the cell will be stopped and it may also result in the death of the cell question number 2 why are lysosomes known as suicide bags lysosomes are known as suicide bags of the cell because when cell gets damaged during the disturbance in the cellular metabolism these lysosomes they burst and the digestive enzymes those released the digest their own cell question number 3 where are proteins synthesized inside the cell proteins are synthesized inside the ribosomes which are attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum that is r e r question number 4 what would happen to the life of a cell if there were no golgi apparatus answer if there were no golgi apparatus then there will be no production or formation of lysosome second formation of complex sugar from the simple sugar will not occur third digestion of foreign material and cell debris will not take place and the last point cell secretion of the various materials synthesized in the cell will not take place question number 5 where do the lipids and proteins constituting the cell membrane get synthesized answer lipids are synthesized by scr that is smooth endoplasmic reticulum 
and proteins are synthesized by ribosomes of the rough endoplasmic reticulum that is RER. So this answer for today.